Cedar Grove Composting is a local family-owned business with deep roots in the Seattle area dating back to 1938. Cedar Grove plays a critical role in the Puget Sound's recycling infrastructure and sustainability efforts, diverting more than 350,000 tons of yard and food scraps from landfills annually. With two processing facilities in Maple Valley and Everett, Cedar Grove is a local manufacturer, providing green jobs in King and Snohomish counties. Cedar Grove produces wholesome, nutrient-rich compost that is sold to businesses, agriculture, governments, and residents, ensuring consumers have access to locally produced, recycled products. Our Everett site encompasses 28 total acres. This site was originally opened in 2004 after we implemented technology from Europe. Cedar Grove's two facilities are some of the largest in the world. Between our Everett and Maple Valley facilities, Cedar Grove processes approximately 350,000 tons of yard and food scraps per year. Our Everett facility produces approximately 130,000 cubic yards of compost annually. In this video, we're going to share with you the process of how we turn food and yard waste into a compost product that goes right back into the earth it came from. The journey truly begins when we unload our food and yard scraps into the recycling system, whether it be in a restaurant or in your own homes. Local haulers, including Cedar Grove, collect the yard and food scraps and bring the material to Cedar Grove. As the trucks arrive, they are weighed at the scale house. The truck now travels to the tipping building, the location where the waste is received. Part of our recipe is keeping a clean wood stockpile. Composting is an aerobic process, and as an aerobic process, we need to ensure there is airflow so that the microbes can have oxygen and breathe. We cannot compost 100% grass or 100% wood. Just like we need a healthy diet with a variety of food sources, we need a balanced carbon to nitrogen ratio to compost healthily. So one way to get that during grass season, for instance, is adding wood chips. The truck can dispel all the yard and food scraps into the huge pile that is ready for grinding. The receiving building has a negative air system, which removes air, and in doing so controls any odors that would be present. The air is then fed through a custom-made biofilter, which has a 90% odor elimination efficiency. The remaining material is now ready for step four, grinding. The front loader picks material up, ensures a solid ratio of carbon to nitrogen, then puts the material into the grinder. The grinding process is very important as we have to reduce the material to a size that will still allow air to pass through it, which is imperative to successful composting. The ground material now gets added to a large conveyor belt, which will move the material to the next step in the process. Recycled water is added at this stage via sprayers. The moisture is a critical addition to the composting process. During this early part of the material's journey, a large magnet also removes any metal that might have wound up in people's yard waste bins, such as forks. The material travels along in an orderly fashion and finally reaches what we refer to as phase one of the composting organic process. As the material arrives, it is loaded onto a 164 feet long, 26 feet wide, 10 feet high heap of material. Once the heap has been built, it is covered with a gore cover fabric. The cover is very unique and consists of membrane laminate technology. It provides a biosphere that keeps the warm air inside, but allows the material to breathe. It keeps rain, sleet, and snow out, so it can handle the Pacific Northwest's climate well. The gore cover system at our Everett facility is one of the largest in the entire world. Of course, like the air we breathe, composting needs a certain amount of oxygen. A small 2.5 horsepower custom fan is added to the end of the gore cover system, which adds fresh air to the pile if the oxygen level falls below 8%. The goal is to keep the temperature inside at 165 to 170 Fahrenheit. This critical adding and removing of air is all monitored and tracked by a large computer system we call Comp Master Control. The process that we call phase one will continually run between 21 to 28 days. The pile is covered throughout this time frame. As you can see, the cover becomes a massive blimp and represents air being added to the heap for the microbes to breathe. On day 28, we remove the cover. We now remove the material onto phase two, where the pile is newly created and further decays the composting organically. 
Phase two of the composting process takes another 14 days. Another 14 days passes, we're ready to move the pile to the third and final phase of the composting process. We need to get the moisture content and temperature down. We start drying the material. If it's too wet, it gets stuck to the screen. After the third phase, material is loaded in the hopper and moved to the screen. This final screening is important as this is where plastics are removed from the pile. The final material that comes out of screening is the compost that we have created throughout this process. It's a beautiful product, dark, clean, earthy smelling, and a rich texture that anyone would want to put back into their yards or landscapes. Cedar Grove Compost completes a local recycling loop and supports a sustainable local economy. The Cedar Grove front-end loaders then collect the compost material ready for either multiple deliveries or bagging for retail. There's nothing more satisfying than seeing what started its life as green yard or food scraps turn into something that looks like our natural earth. It's something Cedar Grove is very proud of and something that's incredibly important to our community, environment, and our planet at large. We hope you enjoyed this tour of Cedar Grove's Everett plant and have a better understanding of our process and commitment to composting. Thank you.